Well, certainly, uh, <clears throat> if you identify a, a newly diagnosed patient and they're ALK positive, I definitely think an ALK inhibitor should be their first therapy. And crizotinib is a really easy pill for patients to tolerate. It's probably the easiest pill, in my opinion, in, in the lung cancer um, in the lung cancer world. Um, so it's a pill that's taken twice a day. We always try and take it with food because that does minimize the nausea. Um, and uh, I usually typically warn patients about the onset of visual symptoms because almost all patients will experience some visual disturbance. It tends to be within a, the first couple doses of crizotinib, and it tends to be mild. Um, it's pretty much triggered by the change um, going from a dark to a light environment. For example, waking up at night and flipping on the light switch will trigger some visual disturbance, sometimes visual trails, but it can be described different ways. It tends to be transient and then it 30 seconds, one minute, and then goes away. But I usually warn people about that because almost everyone has that. Um, the other thing uh, with crizotinib is I do very closely monitor liver function tests. Um, for all of these pills, there's the risk of transaminitis, and we've seen that with crizotinib. So when we start these pills, it's very, it's great for the patients, but we still need to see them. I see them every two weeks for the first six weeks, monitoring the liver function tests in particular. Um, the other important thing about these patients when they go on to crizotinib is that they can do well for long periods of time. You know, the average is maybe eight to 10 months, but I have patients who have been on crizotinib for two, four years. Um, and in those patients, I actually do recommend doing surveillance brain MRI. So even if they have no history of brain metastases, their risk of developing them is so high that I do kind of proactively monitor um, their uh, brain MRIs.